Game TV. Hello les gamers, c'est Dev Thunder, j'espère que vous allez bien. Donc aujourd'hui, je suis à Manchester, à l'aéroport là actuellement. Et après, je me dirige vers Evolution Studio pour aller tester Drive Club. Ça roule à gauche hein, ici. Je fais des images et des vidéos, vous inquiétez pas, vous allez tout avoir sur mygamelog.com. N'hésitez pas à suivre mes games TV aussi. Vous êtes tous les bienvenus. Studio, is everyone? Uh, first things first, I know that you're dying to get access to the Wi-Fi, um, and we're dying to get you access to the Wi-Fi, uh, so you can talk about it, tell your friends that you're here, share pictures, uh, do anything that you want. There's no embargoes. Uh, we're not withholding anything from you today. Uh, the Wi-Fi system went down uh, a little while ago. <laughs> So we're working to get it back up uh, and get you all access codes. So I think within the next half an hour, by the time we finish the quick introduction uh, and showing you some cool stuff um, that Brush is going to show you as well, we should have the Wi-Fi access code and we can give you all in here. So welcome to Evolution Studios. Um, before we get hands on with the game, I'm going to take you through a quick overview of the game. Um, I'm sure you all know it inside out already, uh, but just to bring you up to speed, uh, refresh your memory, uh, and then Rush is going to show you some of the cool stuff that we're working on uh, to add to the game. Uh, once, once everybody gets their hands on it this week. Uh, so in particular the weather, the rain, the snow that's going to affect the game, affect the way that you drive, keep the game lively and fresh, uh, and then photo mode as well. So just quickly step you through uh, the presentation. Obviously you all know that Evolution's history is racing games through and through. Everybody at Evo is either a petrol head and absolutely fanatical about cars, or a gamer and mad about racing games. So we poured our hearts into creating a game, Drive Club, that's all about bringing people that enjoy racing, that enjoy fast cars, that love car culture as much as we do together, allowing them to share the experience of racing together in a club, scoring points for each other, enjoying every moment of the racing with each other, uh, and just you know, tapping into that heart and soul of PlayStation 4 that's all about connecting and enjoying your experiences more because you're sharing them with your friends. So first and foremost, it's about being in the car on the track and enjoying every single moment. Whether you're going it alone for the fastest time in a time trial event, or you're racing against the AI, uh, the aggressive AI that's going to fight for position, defend position, uh, and react to the way that you're driving. Or, obviously, if you want to race online against other people with your club, against other clubs, you can do that as well. But it's all about enjoying every moment in these dream cars, on breathtaking roads that we've obsessed about, for, literally, for the past few years, to bring these to life, to exploit the power of PlayStation 4 to make every single environment a, a dream landscape based on real places around the world and then finessed so that every corner is that much more satisfying to drive or drift or nail the apex on depending on the kind of driver that you are. If you're an experienced racer uh, and you know how to drive these cars, you know how to get the best out of them, you can do. The handling model that we've designed is very, very deep. At the same time, it's accessible so that if you're new to racing or if you just like driving as fast as you can, scoring points for drifting, just enjoying every moment behind the wheel. Uh, we've designed it so that it's also accessible, it's easy to get to grips with and easy to learn. The effort that we go into to bring all of these worlds to life is second to none. You know, the, the visual fidelity that we're achieving, the quality of the audio in the game, nobody's done it before in a racing game, we're very proud of all of the team that work hard on this game to bring that to life. So none of it's faked, none of it's faked or painted on. All of the uh, environments that you can see, the clouds that you can see, uh, the, the road that you can touch, absolutely everything about it is brought to life by the power of PlayStation 4. Uh, it looks absolutely incredible. Time of day, uh, weather system, everything is lively, exciting, uh, and vibrant. You can believe that you're in these locations. So you can really get the best out of the experience when you're behind the car, connected to the road, feeling the, the unique uh, nature of each of these cars as well. We poured our hearts and soul into this. We've then gone an extra step further and allowed you to customise that so you can choose what time of day. You can choose it for it to be an endless sunset or for you to race just as the sun's coming up over the hills so that you get long, amazing shadows cast over the, the cars and on onto the track when you're racing. You can choose to race in Canada, India, Norway, UK and Chile, five countries around the world. All of them offer dramatically different locations for you to race. Uh, all of them rendered in, in the same stunning detail uh, that we've worked so hard to achieve as our club. So every drift that you nail, every race that you complete or win, 
Uh, every challenge that you, you set up, create and share with your friends earns fame points for you and for your club. So if you're like me and you're not the best racer in the world but you are super competitive, uh, you want to you know, enjoy the, the thrill of racing these amazing cars and score points for your club, you can do. Uh, if you're like Rushy and you're actually a really, really good racer, uh, so you leave your mark on that part of the world and then when somebody else comes through there, it'll present your data to them as a challenge. So it'll say, Jamie did this corner at this speed, try and beat that. Or Jamie got this drift score around this track, try and beat him. So if you're way out in front of everybody else, you've got these challenges to keep playing for, to push you to do more. If you make a lot of mistakes like I often do, or if you're just struggling to keep up with the rest of the pack, you've still got this aspect of the competition alive. You're still trying to beat these challenges uh, so that you've always got something to play for. And obviously the important thing with Drive Club is that you're sharing everything that you do with your friends. So as you unlock more um, cars and as you earn more fame points, that's contributing to your club. So you're all earning uh, and unlocking more things together, getting involved in more challenges, um, being able to play for and compete for more because you're in a club, you're playing with your friends or you're connecting with other people online, uh, you're getting more out of the experience of driving these amazing cars. And much like social networks these days. You can connect to Drive Club wherever you are, through your mobile phone, through your tablet, um, on iOS and Android with the My Drive Club app. So you can see everything that's going on in the game, you can see what your friends have been doing, you see recommendations for races to get involved with, who's playing online right now, how many fame points your club's earning, which challenges are available to you. You can just log in wherever you are and see what's going on in, in your world. The only thing that you can't do in the app, obviously, is race. You can do that on your PlayStation 4. The cool thing though is that you can live stream, you can watch live streams on the app. So you can send a challenge to somebody when you're at work through the app. And then if they're playing and live streaming, you can actually watch them try and take on that challenge wherever you are. So you're constantly connected and it's ex exploiting that power of PlayStation 4 to help you get more out of the experience and share it with your friends. And then this is just the start. So all of the races and events and challenges and online play that is already in the, in the game from day one with all of the amazing cars and amazing worlds that we've designed. Uh, it's going to continue to evolve and grow around the people that are playing the game, around these connected community of clubs uh, as they play together, race together and win together online. So this one's quite a, a complicated graphic, so I'll step you through it, try and simplify it for you. There's three key elements to how this game's going to You'll have the windscreen wipers dynamically pushing the water off the windscreen. Uh, I saw that go over that yesterday, and that looks pretty stunning, but it's still not quite ready to show publicly yet, but as soon as we can do, we will. It's a stock car. I'm a really bad driver, I'm going to race it. Yeah, don't press against Jimmy on the road. Very <laughs> different thing. I think when we were Aston Martin, Jim was there, and he said, uh, you've got a lead foot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right.